Legend tells of a show. A YouTube show. It appears mysteriously, emerging from the fog of the interwebs once every single day. Except weekends and holidays. The people who've laid eyes on it say it materializes, presents tech news, then vanishes into the black. Its name? Netflix Daily. Netflix. Netlink Daily. AMD's Ryzen CPUs are reportedly launching soon. You may have seen the supposedly leaked CPU lineup featuring the flagship R7 1800X. With the impressive performance that AMD has demoed so far, Intel may be shaking in their boots a little bit. French magazine Canard PC, who have had some accurate info in the past, says that Intel is preparing two new Kaby Lake CPUs to counter Ryzen. According to Canard PC sources, those CPUs are the Core i7-7740K, a bit of a step up from the 7700K with 4.3 GHz base clock and 100 watt TDP, and the Core i5-7640K, again a bit of a bump over the 7600K with 4 GHz base clock and possibly hyper-threading. There are conflicting reports on that last point. Which could be reason to think that the insider sources are either too scared to give all the details for fear of repercussions, or that none of this is true, and Intel and AMD, they're not even real. So we might as well move on. Over the weekend, a build of Windows 10 Cloud leaked onto a Russian file hosting service and a number of press outlets were able to fiddle around with it. Rumors abounded last week that Windows 10 Cloud, which is supposedly meant to be a lighter version of Windows 10 to compete with Chrome OS, wouldn't be able to run traditional Win32 desktop programs, but would instead be exclusively locked to apps from the Windows Store. Digital Trends found that to be only partially true, as there was an option in the leaked build settings to allow apps to be installed either from the store only or from anywhere. In some cases, opening a Win32 desktop app would result in a warning pop-up, but the app would still run fine. Now it's clear that the leaked build is not the final one, but it looks like Windows 10 Cloud is a little better than Windows RT was at any rate. Which I guess isn't saying much. And Nvidia launched new graphics cards today. Quadro graphics cards though, so not, not for gaming. Sorry if I got you all excited. The new Quadro GP100 actually features the same GPU as the Tesla P100 launched last year. It supersedes the Quadro P6000 as the new flagship workstation focused pro graphics card. The GP100 features 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, five teraflops of FP64 performance, and an NVLink connector on top in place of an SLI connector. Along with the GP100, NVIDIA is flushing out the rest of the Quadro lineup with Pascal, adding the P4000, P2000, P1000, P600, and P400 cards. If you want the nitty gritty details for those, don't forget to check the news sources linked in the description. But for the rest of you, it's time for... <laughs> Quick bits, bro. <laughs> uh, what? Well, I was just gonna say Quick bits, bro. I don't know. I think I gotta rethink my life. Central Pack. Intel has announced it will launch its Lake Crest CPU by 2020, which will have power apparently close to that of GPUs in order to power deep learning workloads. But, but, but can, but can it run Crisis? Palette has released a passively cooled GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, as in there's no fan on it. There is a big ol' heatsink though, so if you want silence that bad, then this is the chunky monkey for you. Uber has hired former NASA engineer Mark Moore to help the company figure out how the heck to make flying cars a thing already. Frankly, it's embarrassing that we're still driving around on four wheels like cavemen. The Jetsons are laughing at us. Overwatch game director and meme lord Jeff Kaplan has apparently reached out to first party console manufacturers, AKA Sony and Microsoft, and expressed their concern about the use of mouse and keyboard controller adapters like the IO Gear Keymander on PlayStation and Xbox. Not really anything they can do except to express concern, but it's the thought that counts, Jeff. Love ya. And to see the true potential of augmented reality, look no further than this demo of Portal running on a Microsoft HoloLens. You could have your own companion cube, and, and a cake that looks real but isn't actually there. That cake would be a... Lie! Thank you. 
Sources for all today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description, as I already said. My Schwarzenegger is a very cartoony version. <laughs> You've got to build it with the carbon nanotubes, you idiot! <laughs> Holy Toledo! Intel is hosting another Extreme Rig Challenge, and you guessed it, NCIX PC is making a sick gaming rig as part of the contest. Just like last time, we need you guys to vote for us to win the challenge, but it's a win-win because by voting, you're also entering yourself to win one of the seven $10,000 custom gaming PCs that will be unveiled at PAX East in Boston. And as a bonus, voting for NCIX this week also puts you in the running to win an Intel Core i5-6600K CPU. All you gotta do is tweet with the official NCIX Twitter handle, ncix.com, I don't know where we're gonna put that, and hashtag RigChallengeSweepstakes to be entered to win. Click the little eye in the corner or the link in the description for all the details. All right, that's it for Nettling Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment below for friends with benefits. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. I wonder how many, like, we say, as always, do that. But I, I don't think anyone's doing that every single time. But maybe we're saying, as always, like, we say that every time. And it's kind of annoying by this point. So. <laughs> okay, see you guys.